again, we are going to answer some of your most frequently asked questions. So what we're going to talk about right now, one that comes up from all of my Mac users, you are my people, um, but Apple AirPlay in screen sharing. And yes, absolutely, you can use Apple AirPlay straight from your panel. You do not need an Apple TV connected, just as an FYI, makes it very handy. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get both mobile devices and like MacBook Pros, MacBooks, you know, the computers connected. So all you need to do is pop into your screen sharing app. So we're going to go ahead and start there. Couple of things in here that I definitely like to point out just to make sure uh, you're going to have a seamless and successful experience. Uh, first things first, know what network your panel is on. <laughs> That's step number one, because uh, you need to make sure that any device that you're going to do Apple AirPlay with is on the same network as the panel, because it needs to be able to recognize the panel on the network for that direct screen mirror. The other thing, let's say two things, we'll say two things. Uh, everybody has heard me, if you've been training with me, I always talk about settings. Uh, go around the block and meet the neighbors. It doesn't mean you have to change anything, but know what your options are because they may come into play. So we are going to actually pop into our settings in screen sharing. First thing you go right to it is your room name. You potentially could have hundreds of Q series panels or whatever you're getting connected. It could be an RS or uh, Z or whatever it may be. Um, make a unique name. <laughs> For your panel so that way when you go to screen share you know you're sending your information to your panel um for those jokesters out there i have just given you amazing ideas but yes uh you want to go ahead and name your panel something so that way you know when you go through the list of things that you can screen your to that you're actually choosing the panel up in your room uh you're not going to have to go through 500 panels and be like no so whether it's Q-Series Room 203, or if you have a team name for your classroom, or if it's a specific conference room located on a certain floor of your building, whatever it may be, uh, go ahead and just create a name so you know that this panel is tied to this room, and that's the one that you want to airplay to. So hopefully that's helpful. So that's number one. Uh, something you can check um, is just down in the network and connections making sure that the AirPlay receiver is toggled on. So that should be toggled on by default. But again, just something from a troubleshooting standpoint, um, I'd like to point out, you wanna make sure you're setting yourself up for success. So uh, those are some key points. But now what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with a mobile device and then I'll go ahead and show you how to get connected with a computer. So that way you know exactly what you're looking for and where to go. So I'm going to get really close to the camera. It's going to be weird. I apologize. Um, I am just on my phone. Look at that handsome fellow. Everybody loves Mr. Bubbles. Um, but yeah, I'm just on my home, uh, home screen. I'm going to do a side swipe on my phone kind of from right to left. So I'm going to swipe down to get all of my lovely actions. And you can see in here, you've got some options, of course. What I'm actually going to press is that little window in window. You can see it kind of right there. Looks like two squares on top of themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. As soon as I do, what it's doing is it's pulling up everything on the network that I could Apple AirPlay to directly. I'm going to get close again. You can see Q series. I just have one in the office here. So that, that takes the guesswork out of it for me, which is wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and tap my Q series. You're going to get the little, the circle of doom, but it will be okay. Uh, so what it's doing is it's just getting connected. And I always forget, uh, got to love nicknames from family members. <laughs> there we go. That's not embarrassing at all, is it? Uh, but all you have to do is go ahead. Uh, I have moderator mode turned on. So if you do have moderator mode turned on, you still have to invite yourself to present. If you don't have moderator mode on, you'll just directly go up to the screen. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and invite myself to present, and there we are. Uh, so now I am seeing everything that's happening on my phone directly on the screen. So what I'll do is I'll actually walk you through that process one more time. So I was on the home screen of my phone, and I did a swipe from right to left, just down from that corner, and I got all of my actions here, and I clicked on this icon here, that window in window, that's your screen mirroring icon. 
Um, so I would just go ahead and tap on that. You can see, again, my list is going to be here. I can stop mirroring, uh, so that makes it very easy. But other tips to know in here, turn your do not disturb on. If you are screen mirroring or screen sharing from anything that receives text messages, this is when you're going to get the weird text messages. So uh, put your do not disturb on. Uh, it will definitely help you. Usually you learn that lesson once the hard way and then you're good to go. But yes, now I am just screen mirroring from my device. Anything that I want to go ahead and throw up on the panel, I can go ahead and do so. Uh, I just happen to have a journal article pulled up. I can rotate if I wanted to, so I can go into kind of full screen mode. A little bit easier to read that direction, uh, but I can take up all of the real estate. I can walk around the room. I can converse with colleagues, students, just depending on what setting I'm in. I do have the option. If I wanted to highlight and mark anything up, I can do that straight from my device. You can see I have markup options here. And of course, you have additional options in new line. Uh, you can go ahead from your side toolbar, third icon down. Uh, you can go ahead and use your annotation tool. Or I do have options over on the left. Here we are. Uh, I can go ahead and grab my pen from there and annotate uh, natively within screen sharing. So hopefully that was helpful. That is how you connect Apple AirPlay with a mobile device. So that's going to be your phones or your tablets. Next video in the series, uh, I'll go ahead and show you how to connect a mobile device, not a mobile device, a Mac device, I apologize, uh, to the panel, but we're gonna be looking at a computer-based device because it looks just a little bit different. Um, so hopefully these help you out and keep the questions rolling.